Most people have never heard the term vertebral basilar insufficiency, but when folks have balance problems, they're having drop attacks, which is all of a sudden they faint, they got tremendous dizziness, they got ringing in the ears, the doctor might say you have vertebral basilar insufficiency. It means that the blood supply to the posterior part of your brain, your cerebellum, your occiput, you know, just the back of the brain. That part of the brain controls vision. So if you have, like, it just seems like all of a sudden you get blurry vision. It controls your position sense. Like, you don't realize even walking, you know, your, the back part of your brain is, you know, having to monitor where you are in 3D space. And I can tell you, Dr. Hauser, his balance ain't so good, so I gotta continually work on my balance to get my athletic performance better. But one of the main causes of balance problems, drop attacks, dizziness, is vertebral basilar insufficiency. And what most people don't realize is the vertebral artery goes into the vertebrae in the neck. And there's a kink, there's a kink. Like in other words, the vertebral artery, it changes direction when it goes from C2, C1 to the brain. So if your C1 vertebrae specifically is moving too much, though it could be any of the, any of the vertebrae in the neck, but if it's moving too much, it's going to kink that artery. And if it kinks the vertebral basilar artery, like you move your head and you get dizziness or you get a drop attack, or your position senses off, or you feel like you're going to faint. You have vertebral basilar insufficiency due to C1, C2 instability. So obviously the cure for you is you got to get back your C1, C2 instability. The cause of it is typically ligament damage in the neck. Could be from a fall, could be from trauma during sports, could be that you're typed on a computer you're, 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 or you're texting too much and you're bent, your head's bent over too much. So anyone with those kind of symptoms should get an evaluation by a prolotherapist, specifically a prolotherapist that specializes in the neck, especially C1, C2. You know, we do those areas all the time here at Oak Park, Illinois. Prolotherapy works very, very good for that condition. So absolutely somebody with vertebral basilar insufficiency should seriously, and I mean seriously, consider getting an evaluation for prolotherapy. Typically prolotherapy injections to the ligaments in the neck resolves the condition in three to six visits. You know, sometimes it obviously takes more. Sometimes we do have to limit neck motion while, we're, while the person's healing, so sometimes we will immobilize them, you know, like with a neck brace. And anyone with those symptoms might want to consider wearing a neck brace. You know, you could wear it for a few days and just see if your symptoms get better. Because obviously if your symptoms get better when you limit neck motion, then you know that the problem's in the neck. So unless you want to wear a brace the whole rest of your life, obviously I don't, I would rather get prolotherapy. Well, imagine walking down the street and all of a sudden you fall, like boom, you have a drop attack. Like it's, I mean, I've never had that. I've had patients obviously with it. I mean, it is just frightening. I mean, you, people with like migraine headaches, you know, cause it can come on at any time. I mean, it's awful. You know, thinking at any moment you could have a terrible migraine, but think about if you're walking along and all of a sudden, boom, you could just faint, like you could completely faint. Like it's just, devastating just devastating and if you actually research it the the condition that makes the most amount of sense that probably causes it is c1 c2 instability that's called atlantoaxial instability so there actually is now tests that can document that instability there's functional mris which they're now starting to do all over the world we actually see a lot of folks with C1, C2 instability from Germany that fly into Oak Park, Illinois to have us treat them. One, because that country is doing a really good job of now switching from regular MRIs to functional MRIs. And by functional MRIs, it means that you're doing an MRI in different, in different positions. 
Like in other words, you're not laying down because who has symptoms when you're laying down? Like if you have a drop attack, you have it like when you're up and then you move your neck. If you move your neck too much, obviously something happens with movement of the neck that causes a drop attack. I'm, re I'm reminded of a case, like one of our first cases that we treated here years ago was like a gal from Switzerland. And if you saw her walk, like she literally would go from wall to wall. Like in other words, and then she would of course have drop attacks. Like you could actually move her and then like you literally could cause her to faint. Like you could move her neck to the point where she could cause her to faint. So you know after about, you know like I have, probably haven't seen her for like 12 to 14 years. So in other words, she got prolotherapy specifically of C1, C2. She hasn't, we haven't seen her for 12 or 14 years. So you can imagine if she had to live with this. Like if you saw her, I mean she was on basically the point of I would consider like pre-suicidal. I mean it was like awful. So it sounds like crazy, like why would somebody come from like Germany and Switzerland like come to Oak Park? The reason being is we have a lot of experience. So anybody who's going to consider getting prolotherapy in their neck, especially C1, C2, you better go to somebody who knows what they're doing. So I would encourage people obviously to come here to Caring Medical. And so drop attacks, any kind of severe symptom that might be related to the neck, they really should consider you know, getting prolotherapy to the neck, specifically go to somebody who you know, has a lot of experience. Normally it's three to six visits. We generally see people once every four to six weeks. And for drop attacks and the other symptoms, like I said, prolotherapy you know, works great.